This is video two for the whistle design project. On the previous video, we created the half of uh, the whistle shape with the openings. Uh, we're going to start off in this video as we can take a look is we want to chamfer the edge here, which will help us produce that sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our chamfer tool. We're going to rotate and we are going to select this edge right here. And we're going to chamfer it at 0.5 millimeters. So you can see as we made that cut on that edge right there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to grab our fillet tool, which is right here. And we're going to take this inner edge here, and this is going to create a circular. Uh, we're going to do that same 0.5 millimeters. So what you can see is we've created that opening uh, to help produce that sound at that point. We're going to go back to that flat tool. And we're going to do the edges for our mouth. Now, we don't want to do this line here. Uh, this is something, again, you can kind of have a little bit more creative control on. Uh, as I select all my different edges for this. And again, I don't want to do that one, so I got to take that one off here. So I'm doing my inner edges, and all I'm doing is giving them a nice little curve to them. I did 0.25 here. You might want to do something a little bit larger if you desire. But again, all it is is to kind of create that mouth comfort so you don't have those sharp edges there. And again, I can green check mark that and we can see uh, again that uh, circular cut that we made on that corner as we zoom out now. Next, we're going to work on that ball inside of the whistle itself. So to do this, I need to do a little bit different procedure this time. What I need is I need a plane. I know I already have the top, front, and right, but I need to create a work plane. And what I want to do is put that work plane here on the bottom face of that inside of that whistle. You can see is highlighted there. Now, I want to offset that, meaning move it away from the surface, half of my uh, ball's diameter, which is its radius. And that's going to be five millimeters. I can then green check mark it and you can see I have this work plane that I can now lay a sketch on five millimeters above that surface. So I'm going to grab my sketch and I'm going to lay it on that plane one. So I can then go to my top and somewhere in the middle, it doesn't really matter because that ball is going to be able to free to move if we were to 3D print this. And I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm going to draw a five I'm sorry, a 10 uh, millimeter line. I'm then going to come over to my arc tool, select both ends of the arc, and do a five millimeter radius. So what I've done is I have a diameter of 10, a radius of five on this part. So what I can do now is I can come over to my revolve tool, I'm revolving the face of this along that axis, that 10 millimeter line here. And again, I'm doing this as a new part, not an addition. So what you're going to see now is I have that ball on the inside that barely touches the bottom. So if we were to 3D print this, we could just simply uh, stick something through that opening, break that piece off and that ball would be free to move at this point. So what we have is half of our whistle created. My next step is, again, something new that we haven't used before, is the mirror function. 